Hello and welcome to this session. I'm Raghav and in this session I'm going to go very basic step by step and we are going to learn about JSON schema. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. Let us say we have a JSON document or a JSON message. Now JSON schema is a document or a structure or a format that can be used to validate and format the JSON document or the JSON message. In simple words, you can use JSON schema for validating the formatting of a JSON message, the syntax, the data types and to validate the entire structure and content of a JSON message. So here JSON schema is written in JSON itself and JSON schema are JSON documents that describe other JSON documents and it is as simple as that. So if we have to define or describe JSON schema, it is a format or a document that defines the structure of a JSON message and it can be used to validate a JSON message and in case of APIs that have a JSON request and response, JSON schema can be used to validate the API request and response. So if we take an example of an API request, when we run an API request or we do any process or action on the request, we get the output and finally we get the API response. Now here, before we actually do any processing or do any action on the API request, we can validate the format so that we can save a lot of time and we do not have to see later on what exactly was the issue if there is any issue with the format syntax or data types of the api request we can catch it right at the stage of validating the format even before we do any processing or action on the request and even before we send out the response we can again validate the format of the response or the output and this validation of the format is done by json schema in case of json messages of api request and response so now if we look at a demo we had created demo.json file in our earlier session and if i show you this is our json file or a json data you can use any json message ideally a json schema is created earlier and then Based on that JSON schema, we create the JSON message or the JSON request. But just in case you have a JSON message, you can also do the reverse and create a JSON schema from a JSON message. If I go to Google and search for uh, create JSON schema from JSON file online, you will get some tools online like we have these tools and you can see all this. Let me show you and compare some of these tools. So here if I go to this link, which is free online JSON to JSON schema converter, this is from Liquid Technologies and I will provide all these links in the description or notes of this video. So here you can provide your JSON data or JSON document and can generate a JSON schema from here. So I will just copy my JSON message or JSON data and paste it here and I will say generate schema and you can see it has generated a schema here so if you see here we have this schema and then we have the type properties and then here you can see this is our users array and it says the type is array and then the items and in that array we have objects we have first name that should be of type string then last name should be of type string age should be of type integers and in the schema it also defines what is required what is mandatory what is not mandatory how many uh, data types can we have what is the max length minimum length all this can be defined and described in a json schema if i look for other tools so here you can see it creates a simple json documents from a json schema and i think this is the same one from liquid technologies let me see this one so here you can see here you can provide your json and you can see the json schema here then we have this here so here if you provide your json schema let me just copy my schema from here i will copy this and go to this json schema validator and paste my json schema and now here i have to give my input json and this will check if the json is valid 
based on the JSON schema. So if I now copy my JSON message and paste it here and you can see it says no errors found JSON validate against the schema. So this is a valid JSON just in case let us say I give the value of first name I give as some integer you can see here I am getting a message invalid type expecting string but not but got integer and you can see the JSON path here or the schema path here so if you have a JSON schema you can validate your JSON against the schema and this will be very handy and very useful I hope this session was very useful for you I will meet you in the next session thank you for watching